Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novelty Corner and I am back with my fourth quarter walkthrough of my planner. So this is sort of how the year ended in my medium sized Kiki K, which as you can tell is kind of bulging at the minute. Um, and I love my black textured leather planner, um, but I will be starting the year in my Why Not planner, which I will have another video for the setup for 2016. Um, so on the outside, I have this beautiful pink, black and gold tassel from Geraldine Jane, um, a Christmas charm that I got in my Brimbles box, plus a little chain with some charms. There's a giant owl, which is actually off an old scarf that I had. Um, a little, let's see if I can bring this up, sorry about all the clinking, little giraffe charm that I got from a friend of mine, um, and some uh, little be bits and pieces. So um, the giraffe will be going on to my new planner, um, the other, and the tassel, the others will probably not. Um, I'll bring them out again later on. So. When you open up my planner, in my pockets I have these little laminated um, pullouts from the Kiki K Christmas uh, uh, Paper Lovers book. So there's a couple of little stars, um, an elf, a Christmas tree, a present. I have the little Christmas paper clip from the Brimbles box designed by uh, Craft and Chaos and I have my laminated to-do lists in the top pocket. Behind here, um, the last couple of months I've really got into st using stickers and you can tell there's quite a, a few here. Um, for the most part these are just stickers that I'm trying to use up which is why I keep them in my planner. I don't keep full sheets of decorative stickers um, in here. Um, so there's some gold stickers that I got in a um, pocket letter. There's some Oh Hello stationery boxes for when packages arrive. Um, again, some of their little sampler packs that I'm just trying to use up. Um, another sampler, another sampler, <laughs> some little labels. Uh, this one is full of little samples that I received when I've ordered stickers from different sellers. I won't go through them all. Um, this was part of a movie night set that I cut up just to use them up. Some more flags, leftover bits from another set. Um, these sticker sheets are from Blank Goods um, and I've got an unboxing of one of their subscription boxes on my channel um, but these are really tiny little stickers um, that are fabulous for planners. I do have a Kiki K set of glue dots. Um, these are from Happy Scrappy so I just use them to mark when I get mail. Ooh. My dog's barking. Sorry if you can hear that background. Some juice box um, headache tracker stickers, which I thankfully haven't had to use very often. Some little label stickers. Uh, this is my old colour coding dashboard that I just kind of keep in there for reference, plus some of the juice box exercise stickers that I think I hauled in another video. Obviously, I haven't been doing too well with them. I might add them in now that I'm on school break. Um, I have my Batgirl um, page marker that I made for when I had my back girl layout plus a screen wipe and just an old project life card. So not all of this stuff is going to be coming out and I'm going to try and lessen the bulk of my new planner but that's what's there so far. I also have a black sharpie pen because I find that doesn't bleed through. Um, so I have a dashboard, a shaker dashboard from Geraldine Jane with a little green reindeer which is really cute. The dashboard from my November Brimbles kit with the cute little elf and then dividers that I made specifically for um, Christmas using Kiki K, the Kiki K paper book and a little heart punch. So I have my year at glance fold out. Um, I'll probably print out a new one for my new planner and just transfer some of this information over. This is a little divider um, that came with a Kiki K planner starter kit. I just use it to separate the yearly overview from the month ones. I'll go through these quite quickly because if you've seen any of my other videos, um, particularly my overviews, you'll have seen these monthly layouts. Uh, oh. 
to my August, September. Okay, so October is the start of this quarter. Um, so, but there's a process video for this one for November uh, and for December, um, and all my themes. And then that's it. So this is my next divider. This is my week on two pages. So this starts um, from the 1st of October. There's other little bits and pieces in here that I used when I was um, doing some Instagram photos. So my first layout for October. All of these have process videos up, so I'll leave a link to the playlist that has all of my um, planned decorating videos. Um, I started to round the corners of my pages in October. And I really like the way that it looks. Um, so this was obviously changing. Here were my old planner pages and then I decided to start trialling a new uh, planner page layout which is what I've got for next year. Experimenting with puffy stickers in here which is why my planner is so bulky. Oh, I folded that tab down. So that has a little Halloween tab on top of it. Um, then in November so this was a theme using basil and mint stickers. Um, this one was inspired by Remembrance Day, so I actually did my own watercolour poppies and then used them as ephemera. Um, this was the night theme. And the space theme using the Oh Hello um, planet stickers. First week of December. So this was the Kiki K sticker book. This one was... I want to say basil and mint, but I'm not 100% sure whether those stickers were. I'll link to this video. Um, this was my Brimbles week, um, using my Brimbles box. This is the current week. Um, this week I'm sort of planning as I go because it is um, a bit of a crazy time of year. So I'm currently here, I'm currently filming the planner <laughs> review. Um, I don't know if I'll get to the planner set up today or anything else. I've still got to make some gingerbread and uh, a pavlova today. After that I have uh, important websites, usernames and passwords. How my next divider. Again bits and pieces that I used for uh, photographing. My perpetual calendar which will move over into my new planner. Um, my media documentaries, so movies I've watched TV shows I've watched, things I want to watch, um, books that I've read um, this year. During the year it's really hard for me to read books during the, the school year. Um, I'm just exhausted at the end of the day but I have a big big pile of books to read these holidays and I'm getting there slowly. Um, if I go to the theatre, which I don't do often, so this will sort of be theatre and um, shows and anything else like that. There's another divider. So this is my notes section. So in here, um, my to-do list, which I haven't been using as well as I should have in the last half of the year. Then, oh, this is my old to-do list. Yeah, old to-dos. Uh, online orders, things that I'm waiting for um, to ship. Uh, this is my notes section, my other notes section. Um, so I've got the things that I want to do these holidays. These inserts are my Happy Scrappy, just trying to use them up. Um, ideas for pocket letters, uh, inspiration for um, racks for a friend. Um, this is my books that I want to read list, which you can tell is not highly organised at the minute, um, but I'll get there. Lots of little notes and bits and pieces and then I always have a dashboard at the back just to stop the pages from rolling up underneath. So that's pretty much my year in review in my um, planner. So there will be a, another video featuring um, a look at how I set up my 2016 planner which is this one here. Um, but that will be in hopefully at the start of the new year or maybe just before the new year. 
Um, but thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions down below and check the description bar for any links. Um, there will also be a coordinating blog post. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, if you would like more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you later.